hey what's going on you guys welcome to another video and today man we're going to talk about a tiktok that is currently going viral now before i go any further i would like to issue a trigger warning because the video is very graphic and if you are someone that have suffered from domestic violence i would like to issue a trigger warning let's get into the video and it hit me in my fucking face because I would have given my number. And in? all y'all just fucking watch. Y'all see, see that shit? Y'all see that shit? What y'all want y'all to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no. And he hit me picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you gonna do? And I told all these men like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick and all these niggas is watching and nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face and they're all just watching. And they let that nigga get in a car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? Okay, like you just saw, right? Um, this is her side of the story. Um, even if there was some other um, side to it, I, I still don't think she deserved to get hit in the face with a brick because I, I don't see what she could have done or said for someone to hit her in the face with the brick. I'll say that right now. What happened to her is totally wrong. But when I first saw the video, I was trying to figure out where exactly she was because I don't know where this is. And I don't know if she was coming from a party. I see her in like a back of a building and I see some cars around. I think she just came from a party, right? I think she was just came from a party. And, you know, she got her uh, some jewelry on. She got the glitter t-shirt. So I think she just came from a party. Um, I don't know who she was with. But I said this, man. Um, ladies, we are living in a different times. There are no more heroes. I don't know who needs to hear this. There are no more heroes. Um, you'll be lucky if you find people that's going to jump in and save you. Especially, I mean, I'm profiling, man. I'm looking at the type of men that she was crying out for, um, you know, for help. They don't look like the type of person. You know what I'm saying? Somebody back there with a do-rag. I mean, are you serious? I mean, to me, man, they don't look like people that's going to, you know, jump in to help a lady in distress. I'm saying you got this dude right here just standing there looking confused. They look, they look like, what do you want me to do? That's what it looks like to me. Um, they're looking like, what do you want? What do you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? There's nobody back there calling 911. So y'all gotta be careful um where y'all go. Cause I don't know what she was expecting. To me, first look, uh, these men that she's crying out to, they do not look real reliable. They look like they are waiting for an Uber, like nobody here got a car. And it is unfortunate that happened to her, but y'all gotta be careful out here. Um, there are, like I said, there are no more heroes. I know me personally, I'm not gonna be jumping in if I see a man and a woman get into it and shit get crazy. The most I'll do for you is call the police because me, I'm gonna go home too. I'm not gonna get shot or get stabbed. And I don't know why. I was looking at the comments, I don't know why it's so easy for women to just say, Oh, why didn't just the men do something? The men should have jumped in. Well, there has been countless stories of men stepping in to help women. It doesn't end too well for them. And when these men get shot, get stabbed, none of these women come online to, you know, uh, praise these men, uh, call him a hero. Everybody just move on. I'm telling you, man, I've seen it. I've seen this stuff. I've seen this stuff play out countless times where you have women for whatever, for whatever reason, get into it with a man. Other men, the, uh, well, some men will jump in, you know, things get crazy, men get stabbed, men get shot. Now these women come out here, hey, this is the man right here, Uh, go to his GoFundMe to help for his funeral, he's a hero, you know what I'm saying? He was just trying to help out a woman that was, that needed help, uh, we need to support this type of man. None of that happened. <laughs> we just see it on the news. Uh, you know, break, breaking news. Some men trying to help out a woman, things get crazy. The man got stabbed, he passed away, and that was it. Nothing else. Like I said, man, I don't think what happened to her um, is right. But 
I went to her TikTok page, right? And to me, uh, first of all, I think she's like Somalian or something, but she has adopted the ratchet um, lifestyle that we see nowadays, right? She's somebody that she loves Meg Thee Stallion. She loves Sexy Red. Uh, she loves Ice Spice. This is the type of... Not, not, I'm, not that I'm saying that she deserved because of that she deserved what happened to her. I'm just saying she's not somebody that's like I would consider high class, right? So this is what she posts on her TikTok. This is her right here. I don't know if she is with her friend. Uh, I don't know if she's with her sugar daddy. I don't know who this is. But she decided to post this on her TikTok. This is her right here. You now I'm saying she can the butt, get in this man lap. I don't know who this is. By the way, I know this man is like, is, she, is this man like white? By the way, she's a feminist. She's a black feminist. Um, this is what she preaches on her TikTok page. She's very pro um women, poor black women. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get it in front of her because she got her ass up. But I'm saying this is her making a TikTok. I don't know what they call it on TikTok. This is uh the spicy red song. Um, looking for the hoes. You know what I'm saying? This is the song that got sexy red on the map. The one that was talking about my booty hole this, my coochie this. And this is her again at some party. You know what I'm saying? Doing the damn thing. Not me winning twerking contest at age 32. A PhD that twerks. She's 32, by the way. I think she's a mother. I think she's a, possibly a single mother because um, I do not see any men in the picture. All her TikToks is her by herself. This is her again. Now I'm saying, I ain't gonna lie, she look good. I can see why, you know what I'm saying, that man went crazy, because to me, she look good. Now I'm saying, she got the body going on. I think it's all natural. Now I'm saying, she got that all natural African body. This is her right here. Now I'm saying, always somewhere twerking, hey, which, is, she has, which, which she has the right to do. Right, which she has the right to do. It's a free country. Now I'm saying, so to give you an idea, I'm going to let you guys hear into uh, some of her TikTok. For all the rappers and public figures in general who said that Sukiana and other women who rap about their bodies vulgarly are just going to be touched because they bring it on to themselves, just know that when you're talking about your money and how much like a trick, it will be touched. It will be touched. And I'm going to start tonight. <laughs> This is for the uh, fact that you're a white man and I'm a black woman. I have less privilege than you. Thank you. <laughs> so, as a person who benefits from featurism, I do think that I'm qualified to critique people who benefit from colorism because it does work one and the same. What is featurism? Featurism is when you're treated better because of your proximity to the white beauty standards. So that could be phenotypes, hair texture, eye color, a plethora of things. Do I always like my hair? No. Do I have some qualms about it? Sure. But would I ever go and complain to black women with 4C hair? No, because I'm not a fucking asshole. Black women's hair is deeply political. It affects the jobs they get, their educational opportunities, their finances, their time. It fucks with their livelihood and how well they're treated in certain spaces. So why the hell would I ever go up to black women with 4C hair and start complaining to them about my hair and whatever issues I have with it? That would be ridiculous. Why would I ever center myself in those spaces? What I should be doing is using my privilege to better advocate for them because it would be more well received. That's how I feel about light skinned people who are always coming to dark skinned people about their problems. Why are you bothering us? This is not our issue. Go talk to them white folks. And yes, I'm like Jocelyn. I do think the blacks are cuter than the whitey whites. Bye. Excuse me, thank you. All right, man. So you just got a taste of the type of things that she posts on her TikTok. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, her twerking, her talking about. Uh, light skinned people, white people, uh, black people, you know, all that, you know, uh, social justice warrior stuff, man. That's you know, I see a lot of that on TikTok. You see a lot of that on TikTok, right? You got the, I mean, a couple of months ago, the TikTok therapist, and we had that girl that went viral where she was talking about how white people are bleach demons and 
Turns out she's dating a whole white man. Now, I hope that she didn't go up to that man that hit her in the face with a brick, you know, to... Maybe she was trying to make a TikTok with him or something. Like, I don't know. Like I said, we only got one side of the story. By the way, I hope that may get arrested uh, because, like I said, I don't think it's right. Nobody deserves to get hit in the face with a brick. And at the same time, man, nobody owes you protection. I know it sounds crazy to some ladies out there, but like I said, man, we live in a different time. There are no more heroes. Uh, people are not going to be jumping in front of you know, the train, jump in front of a gun for you. You got to be aware of where you are going because people are crazy out here. You don't know who got what. Somebody might be carrying a knife. Somebody might be carrying a weapon, like a gun or something. And I don't know if it's because of social media, like it's just messing with people's mind. Now, this is the reaction that uh, some people had on. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to muster the word. This woman got hit in the face with a brick by a man because she didn't want to give him her number. This woman, look at her face. Look at her face. She got hit in the head with a brick this black woman got hit in the head with a brick by a man because she declined invitation on okay. while other black men watched and did absolutely nothing he got in his car and swiftly drove the fuck away and you know what ccc i'm almost positive that the man that did this to her face oh it was not the first time probably has a record of domestic violence against women and the women in his family probably had to put up with domestic violence as well now how do you know all this you see what i'm saying <laughs> people are making up all type of stories we don't, we don't even know what happened. We don't even know what happened. We don't know the full story. Even though I said that, you know, she didn't deserve what happened to her. But still, we don't know what happened. We don't know if she went up there trying to, you know, do the whole feminist thing. And that man was not having it. According to her, she said the man asked for her phone number. Um, Things like that happened. Like I've seen it happen. But we do not know the full story. Um, Hopefully, uh, she gets justice. But we got all these women out here. You see how easy it is for women to just say, help me. Okay. It's not time. The place that she was at looks shady as hell. We don't know what that big out of her. Ain't nobody getting shot for y'all. Like, I don't I don't know what to say. Like, I see people trying to like um make sense out of it. But I'm I'm sorry. I am not throwing up I'm not throwing my life away for a stranger. Now, if there's a way that I can intervene. Where I'm not putting my life on the line, sure. Like if I see if if the guy I can clearly tell that he has, a, let's say the guy has a tank top on and I and you know some short and I can 100% tell that he got nothing on him, then he has your pin. But if the man got a jacket on, a hoodie on, nah, man. It's the best I can do for you is call the police, maybe film. But I'm not jumping in. It like it's crazy to me how easy it is for women when they get in some bullshit. Why men help me? N ain't nobody doing that. I'm sorry. Like, nah. But did not prosecute his ass or call the police. You, Because you see, that's how it starts, right? I had to call the police on my brother because he put his hands on me. My own flesh and blood, yes. Because see, if my own brother can do that. Yeah, listen to what you just said. You call the police, not go on TikTok and make a whole video. Like... I don't know if she did because she was at the, because apparently she, she must have called somebody because she made a TikTok at the hospital. But this is your brother. Um, I don't know what was going on. You, they always tell one side of the story. What was going on? Were you arguing with him? Were you teasing him? Like your brother just woke up and decided to put hands on you. What happened? To his sister, his little sister. 
Because you look annoying. I ain't gonna lie. This lady look very annoying. The way she's talking, she looks like the type to be really mouthy, uh, thinking she can say whatever she wants. Now, that means that you can put hand on them. Because me personally, I just walk away. I don't deal with people like that. But she looks like the type to, you know, very sassy, very rude, doing all this extra shit on TikTok. What do you think he'll do to a woman? Yeah, police got called real motherfucking quick. So I guarantee you, if this man has any type of women in his life, especially in his family, he's hit them. But it is just so disgusting how men were standing around and nobody did nothing but watch. You mean to tell me your self-esteem is that low that you can- What the hell? <laughs> What does that have to do with self-esteem? What if the guy was like some like known gang member in the area? Like, people wouldn't go jump in and get shot. Huh? Do we know what this man is? It's crazy, man. Like women think he's just just throw your life away. I, I need help. Just 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 jump in there, get stabbed, get shot. Hey, I, as long as it's not me. Because first of all, if that was that um lady that got hit in the brick brother, I would have told her, sit your ass down. There's no need for you to be in every nook and cranny twerking all over the place. Especially, because to me, it sounds like she was um, at that party by herself. Because I do not see anybody else around. It looks like to me she went there by herself. Know what I'm saying? And some holding the wall party. And of course, we go to these parties when where you don't know nobody. You're going to have some drunk asshole walking around looking to, you know, to get lucky. And they saw you probably, you know what I'm saying? Looking good, looking, like I said, the girl looked good. They probably see all that ass and, you know, they try to shoot their shot. And you you do have a lot of men out here with low self-esteem. They do not know how to um, handle rejection, which is for, which is more reason that you should not be at those places. You should go out there. If you go out of the party, you zone the area and you notice that, it's mostly men. Let's say I just let's say it's like three men to one woman. Get out of there. But yeah, y'all think everything is just a TikTok. Can I handle a no? Which is her right. She don't gotta tell you why. And it's the men's right to not step in. Cause do people know how like fights can go sideways a hundred ways? I don't know if it's like Hollywood. People think when you get into a fight, you know. Uh, we do kung fu. We like arms. We do kung fu. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get punched in the face, get knocked out, and then uh, you become a hero, confetti. No, you can get in a fight, throw a hand, hit somebody in the wrong spot. Next thing you know, they died. It happens. There are so many things that can go wrong in a fight. And then people want you to yeah, just step in and do it. Do you know how many people went to jail for that same situation? You got men out here find out that their girl is like sleeping around on them, is shit on them. They go to confront the guy. Things get out of hand. Next thing you know, the dumbass is in jail. Not gonna be me. I don't. I don't give a damn what nobody says. I am not jumping in front of no gun, no train, no car for no woman that I don't know. Now, if it's my sister, you no, know, my close family member, which by the way would never be in a situation like that. I can tell you that right now. Ain't nobody in my family is gonna be at some party with strangers. Uh, look, looking like like probably 3 a.m. in the morning, 1 a.m. in the morning, getting hit with a, in, in the face with a brick. Nobody in my family in my family doing none of that ratchet shit. It seems to me everybody had the same reaction like I did, uh, which is it's horrible what happened to her. Uh, I don't think nobody deserved to get hit in the face with a brick. So is this the party where she was at? So this is looking like to be, it's looking like this is the party where she was at. Right, this is her right here in the ski mask. Some sort of ski mask. You now I'm saying partying. Uh, is this a man just going up to somebody? I know that was a friend or not. You know what I'm saying? Got the drink, so it looks like to be the party that she was at. Looks like, to, like, look, looks like to me she's by herself. I don't know who, who she knows who that person is. I'm saying you gotta you gotta get the ass shot. Why does it put put y'all in that in your <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get the ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, show that ass. So what I say in the final man, if you're a woman out here, uh you by yourself and you think you don't need a man, you don't need protection, 
Uh, I'm gonna need you to get a license to carry. Uh, because you got some crazies out there, and like I said, the age of the hero is over. The age of the hero is over because you got a lot of men out here. They hate women. They got all type of mental health issues. They do not know how to handle rejection. Uh, some men out here feels like you owe them sex. So what I say, if you are going to a party, you now I'm saying you can't keep your ass inside. Go in a group of four. Uh, if you have a male friend, you know what I'm saying, bring him along. You know, bring him along. Tell him, you know, he ain't got to drive. You get the Uber. You buy him some. Well, don't buy him drinks. But bring him along because uh, it's not safe out here. This is not safe out here. I'm sorry that happened to her. Uh, I'm saying get a license. Get a license to carry because it's crazy out here. I hope she get justice. Um, I hope whoever did that to her get arrested. But um, it's sad to say if uh, newsflash for any woman out here that think that men are going to jump to the rescue uh, if it's looking crazy. Uh, yeah, you're going you're gonna to be on your own. You're on your own. I don't know who if you, if you got a man, you got a husband, you're on your own. Depends on the location. I say that depends. If it's like in a good neighborhood, you you find somebody to help you. But if you like to go, if you live in the hood, you know, it's in some crazy area with like people shooting it all over this goddamn place, you're on your own. Cause I I, I I'm not doing it.